how your home health care agency is different than others that are out there. Sure. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, we are, we, we're driven by personal experience. Okay. We've had a lot of experience as the client and the caregiver. And what we've learned is that we received care that was adequate but not enough love. Okay. So our desire is to find caregivers that can do both, that can go into someone's home and bring them joy because we've learned that as someone becomes infirmed, if they're elderly or disabled, that their world gets smaller and smaller. Right. And our desire is to not only care for them, but to love them and get to get them to grow and engage in life again. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about the care and the love. I can imagine, and, and I know that both of you know my background, I am a podiatrist, so we have dealt with home health care agencies in the past. and. Uh, you know, there are many good ones out there, but I have seen some patients lost in the shuffle, for lack of a better way of saying that. And they lose, Bonnie, they lose hope. Can you comment on hope? You, in particular, have a very motivating story that you shared with me earlier. Can you share it with our viewers? Sure. Uh, in 2015, I actually received, a, I'm a kidney transplant uh, recipient. Okay. So in 2015, I actually received a kidney, and it was due to Craig. So. I started in stage renal disease, I would say it was at the end of 2013. Okay. And it was just quite a journey. And one of the things I had to do was be on dialysis. And if there is a place that uh, people have given up hope, it, it is in dialysis. Oh my goodness, It's a yes. huge room and you have 20 some odd patients and everybody is there for three or four hours a piece. And it is very difficult because actually you, you're hooked up to these large machines and it, basically your blood is circulated through the machine to clean it. Right. And people have been on these machines for years and years. It's a, it's very difficult. It's